Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I am currently in Shoreline and we're gonna make millions of rubles. As you can see, we are not going resort. Resort is over there. We're gonna go to the far northeastern corner of the map. Uh, the new camp area, as you can see, it's coming up right over there. Uh, that's where the car extract is. That's where the camp is. And that is where we are going for tons and tons of loot. I wanna show you my loadout really quickly. We're in a live raid, so hopefully I don't die. Uh, beta bag. It's pretty decent. Just bring the biggest bag you can get your hands on. And then two load-bearing chest rigs. Is, or you can just use one or you can use none if you don't have the money. Uh, these cost like 60-70k each. But it's well worth it. It's nine slots. It takes nine slots of space. But it gives you 18. So you get nine extra slots um, worth of space. So basically, it you survive one raid it's, and it's paid for the whole rigs. The rigs and the backpack basically. Uh, bring a decent gun to protect yourself. I try and go in as light as possible, so I'm using kind of meh armor. But um, but we have a ride at the camp. Here's my full loadout. HPC rig, kind of, or HPC play carry, kind of meh. Black rock bag or rig. I'm just whiffing everything right now. Some sort of drink or food in case you get hungry. Obdolbos 2 is good because you can... Um, it increases your weight limit, as you can see here, for 30 minutes. And then a propital to counter the negative health effect from it. Uh, it counters it for... Uh, Five minutes, I believe. Here we go. Five minutes. And the weight limit is 30 minutes. And the health regeneration minus one is also 30 minutes. So use up Dolbos 2 only at the end, like when you're very, very slow and you're not regening. But as you can see, we're going to start from uh, Dust Resort over there. Uh, Road to Customs is back there. So, and that's the uh, radio tower. So just to get your bearings, we're going to start from this side. You see this red container here? Run around it, and on the ground here is loot. Right now with the snow, it might be hard to see some of the items. As you can see, the some of the uh, like the loot on the ground gets snow on it, so it might blend in. And uh, there is a toolbox here, or a technical crate, whatever you want to call it. Always check technical crates and toolboxes. And uh, also, sometimes it doesn't spawn here, and then you can see like there's loot on the ground, like underneath it, kind of. So check the gr ground over there as well. I'm going to go through the container here. And then on this uh, little box here, as you can see, more loose loot. Some of the stuff might not be worth picking up, but if you have a, a ton of space, you can pretty much shove everything up your butt. Uh, get rid of the scavs. They are not your friends. Also on the floor here, you can find stuff as well. If you do spawn from uh, like Road to Custom side or like East side in general, you can come up there and you can loot the tent. There is uh, weapon attachments there. They are... So far, I haven't really found anything too expensive. Uh, so, keep that in mind. But once you get in here, get around the corner, check here on the uh, counter. And then check these tables here. It's basically all just like industrial loot, like... Or barter items, whatever you want to call it. And then you have a uh, ration supply crate here as well. Always worth checking. Never know what you can find. Like, if you get... If you find a ton of sugars... I don't know if salt's worth it, honestly. Uh, crackers are 14k. If you find a ton of sugar, I recommend keeping the sugar for a late wipe because you can sell them for like 70k a piece later. Um, these shelves, I don't think, spawn anything. But here, you can find more loose industrial loot. As you can see, another all. Uh, going inside of here as well and on these tables here. More industrial loot. And apparently loot lord. I've never found a loot lord here. Uh, I, don't, I personally don't pick up the class. They don't really have a lot of value on them in my opinion pick up these things drop the hand drill don't really care about that just basically scan all the surfaces like there is just so much loot here like you're always gonna miss something it is kind of inevitable to the amount of loot there is but as you can see medical supply right here i don't think soap is worth much uh, also if you don't know the prices of things uh, more loose loot here by the way if you don't know prices of things just pick it up. You can sell it and you can get an idea of what they're worth. Now, generally this area is pretty safe, especially if you do night raids. Like night raids, I very, very rarely run into people here. Um, run up the hill. Go around this little staircase here into this uh, container. And more loose loot here on the shelves. And then you have a toolbox on the bottom as well. I mean, we've literally looted one building, and we're... Look at all the loot we've gotten so far. 
it is pretty crazy. I nails are not worth much money right now, but I I pick them up for the sick case barter. Uh, but it, it, nails would be like one of the first things I drop in case I find something more expensive, of course. Uh, weapon attachments here. Now, if you do spawn like really far away, and obviously it's gonna take you a little longer to get here, be cautious. Like, check your corners. You never know where people are. Like, I've run into many, many people here. I, I say many, many people. I've run into two people here in like ten raids, but they like sit quietly sit in a corner somewhere. So, if they hear you coming, so just be aware of the possibility that there are gonna be people here. And obviously, if this video gets like 60 million views, it's going to be very popular as well. Uh, it won't get 60 million views, FYI. And I've been kind of yapping and just like ignoring the loot. So, jackets there. If you come in here, uh, on the table here, you can see loose loot. Nuts are kind of worthless as well, but you know, pick them up because I have the space. Uh, that area over there, the little, let's call them ruins, like there is loose loot on the floor there as well. There's loose loot on this table. There's loose loot on the uh, ruins as well. But uh, like that's the area I never go to because I just, I don't need to. If I spawn from that side, I check the tent and I go back down to where we started our loot run. Uh, check the surfaces here. Sometimes stuff kind of spawns like right behind there, as you can see. It's like kind of annoying to get to. But you're just gonna have to deal with it. It is what it is. Also, you can double tap O and see if the car extract's been taken. If it's if the no road to north VX is red, it means it's taken. If it turns green, that means someone is taking it, like as you're looking at it. So keep that in mind. That's good to know. So basically, here, check the table. Here, check the table. Weapon parts here. Get some cigarettes, stuff like that. And then uh, check these shelves as well. All kinds of uh, industrial spawns. Table here, you can get uh, industrial spawns. You can also get food here. And here in the fridge, on top of this um, pot here. For some reason, that thing is floating. But, you know, you do you. You can get a uh, moonshine here, basically. And all kinds of food items, including sugar. Vodka and so on and so forth. Uh, on this side here, on the shelf, you can find stuff. And then we're pretty much done with this building. And by the way, if if you guys know like decent loot in here that I missed, like let me know in the comments. I'm, I am curious. Uh, you can check these surfaces here as well. And then inside of the uh, minivan here, on the side, there's a industrial spawn, and back here as well. And then sometimes on the floor as well. And then around the bus, a car drive here, and then battery here. And apparently there's a toolbox here. I've never noticed this before. I am learning things myself. Very good. Uh, I like to keep eyes on the ruins there because I I got one tap there once when I was looting here, so that's good to know. Uh, run around the corner, check the table for weapon parts, and then go inside here. In the corner there can be a weapon box, and on the floor you can see weapon attachment spawns. On the table, on the um, fireplace, whatever you call it, uh, food spawns, and on the floor as well. Quick peek around because we do not want to get one tapped. We are doing this in a live raid. I run into this wooden shack here around the corner. Inside of this bed uh, mattress thing can be industrial spawns and on the ground in front of it. Uh, sledgehammer I don't think is worth much these days. Uh, on the floor here you can get a 2x2 uh, two two or 3x3 three three weapon box as well. And then you have this uh, technical crate here or medical supply crate sorry. This was more profitable when you got your uh, hands on like blood sets and stuff like that when the blood sets were like 40k but you know prices really changed throughout the wipe. Uh, once you're done with that area run around the corner here and down the shooting range. At the end there you get a ton of weapon attachments. You can get like decent weapon attachments there. Um, some bullets as well. I check this crate every single time. I never found anything. And apparently there's a weapon box there as well. I guess I might as well loot it. I've honestly never noticed this weapon box here as well. And this is the weapon box I meant. It's not 3x3. Three three. I don't know why I call it 3x3, three three, but... You know, here we are. And then get to the uh, end here. And you can just start scouting the floor for the Vipon bots. And right there is a weapon spawn. 
It doesn't really have any consistency to it. I found like M4s, MP9s, like it's... I don't know what kind of guns like it's limited to. I pretty much just pick up anything that I know it's at least 10k. That's definitely more than 10k per slot. And then you have this uh, fella here. And you can find anything on these dead scavs. Like, you can even find a Lettix on them if, uh, if you're lucky. That is not a bad armor. But I'm... Uh, I'm not gonna take it. I don't have the space for it. And uh, check in the corner here as well. And that's about it. That's all the uh, weapon attachments there. But uh, like I said, like you can find decent ammo or uh, attachments there. But ammo-wise, it doesn't seem to be very good. Uh, loose industrial loot around here can be a GPU as well, and then a toolbox, obviously. And once again, keep your eyes on the uh, camp itself. And then on this uh, wooden pallet here. More industrial spawns. Can be a GPU. I've heard of uh, people finding GPUs around here. Uh, shout out to Clove. Uh, thank you for showing me this loot run. If it wasn't for Clove, I would not know about this uh, loot run here. So, If you do see him in the, this camp, make sure to put a 7.62 bullet in between his eyes. For a uh, good measure. And just cross this field, basically. Oh, and we're getting absolutely shot at. That is very bad. You definitely do not want to get shot at, so... What you do here is get in cover, because you don't want to die. Now that little bit ruins my plans, or ruins my plans a little bit. So I'm going to paint kill up, because I want to get the... Uh, Loot run completed. So in that little uh, shack here, you can get a toolbox and, a, and some loose loot. Toolbox spawns there. It's not here right now. Unfortunate. But check the ground for loose loot. I'm not regenerating stamina for some reason. I have no idea where I got shot from, which is uh, very annoying. But you know, it is what it is. I run around the corner here to the left. On the floor here, on these boxes, like you see here, loose loot. I'm just checking for, uh, to see if I'm gonna get pushed. And, like, all around here on the floor, you get a ton of loose loot, and then this toolbox right here as well. Loose loot around here, here, as you can see. I'm kind of paranoid that I'm gonna get completely uh, destroyed here. I'm not going to run up here, but if you do run up there, there is a chance for a moonshine on the table. I don't want to run up there because I'm going to get killed, but it's impossible to miss. And in there, you get a couple of extra spawns as well for uh, loose loot. Industrial loot. And you can loot that as well, but obviously right now I'm not going to do it. And here is the car. You kind of pay for it on the side here. And do not go in front of the car because the invisible sniper will absolutely destroy you. So keep that in mind. I'm going to call the video here. I'm going to put on the screen right now how much we made, how much I paid in uh, flea market fees. Uh, keep in mind, if you upgrade your Intel Center, your fees are reduced. So I believe if you get Intel level 3, your flea market fee is cut by 30%. So if you can get to Intel level 3, that is huge. I hope you guys enjoyed the loot run. Let me know how much money you make. And I will catch you in the next video, my friends. Thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.